Welcome to the Butte College application. You will need to have an OpenCCC account to sign in to the Butte College application. If you do not have an account, please watch the first video on how to create one. If you do have an OpenCCC account, keep watching this video for instructions on completing the application. To begin, enter your username and password you created. Then click on Start a new application. Now you are viewing the Butte College application. On the left hand side, you should see eight sections with yellow circles. These circles will convert to green check marks once all required fields are completed. Now you will enter enrollment information. Select the term you will start at Butte College, select your educational goal, and desired major. Please review your OpenCCC account information to ensure it is correct. If you need to make changes, select Edit Account. Next, indicate if your mailing address is the same as your permanent address from the OpenCCC account. If applicable, indicate if your mailing address is outside the United States. If your mailing address is different from your permanent address, enter your mailing address in the field below. Next, click Continue. Now you will enter your education information. For college enrollment status, use the drop-down menu to select the first-time student in college after leaving high school. Next, you will enter your high school education level. Use a drop-down menu to select Received High School Diploma from U.S. School. For the high school completion date, input your high school graduation date. Now answer the two questions as they pertain to you. For the last high school attended, select I attended high school. Next, fill out the country and state. Enter the name of your high school by typing in the name of your campus. Use a drop-down menu to select your school. Fill out your high school transcript information. Enter your GPA, the highest English and math course you've taken, and the grade received. Next, click Continue. Now you will enter citizenship and military information. For citizenship and immigration status, use the drop-down menu to select your appropriate response. Undocumented students may select other and then mark no documents. Now enter the U.S. military or dependent of military information if applicable. Next, click Continue. Next, complete your residency information. Answer the first question about your California residency. If any of these out-of-state activities apply to you, select the appropriate box or boxes. If not, leave them blank. Next, answer these two questions about special residency categories. Then click on Continue. Answer the question about your main language, then answer the two questions about financial assistance. For the athletic interest, select the option that best represents your interests. Next, you will see a list of programs and services. If you're interested in any of these, please check the appropriate boxes, then click Continue. Next, complete the demographic information. The section about gender or transgender and sexual orientation is completely optional and you may complete it if you wish. Next, input the education level of your parent or guardian. Then answer the question about race and ethnicity. Check all the boxes that apply, then click on continue. For this page, you will answer a few supplemental questions. Select yes, you are participating in your high school's reg to go program, then answer what prompted you to apply today. If you're unsure of what to select, you can choose Butte College Employee. Next, click on continue. On the submission page, make sure all the information you entered is correct. You can do this by selecting review my application. Review the consent statement and click on I consent or I do not consent. Next, read the submit your application box. Once you've read it, check the appropriate boxes. Then you can click on submit my application. 
Congratulations! Your Butte College application has been submitted. You will receive your student ID number and MyVC portal login information by email within two to four days. If you don't receive this information, please contact the Support Center at 530-895-2511.